So um, I say uh, to all Ethiopians, you need to be involved in your communities. You need to help your communities grow. Community activity means working with your children, with the youth, working with the elders, so that there is a bridge between all the generations. One thing I would like to do is to develop a forum on Africa so that the dialogue which consists of Asia and the Middle East is shifted to Africa. We only learn about Africa when there is crisis. It seems to me those of us from the diaspora, from the Caribbean, from Africa, need to be develop a domestic dialogue about the real problems in Africa. People look at the sensational problems of civil strife and uh, alleged um, slavery, etc., etc. They are missing the point. The basic problems in Africa are not being discussed. The legacy of colonialism has left Africa in disarray. Second, I want to develop an intern, not I want, I'm going to develop an internship program so that young African scholars can come and spend some time with me in Sacramento at, or, or Los Angeles, Compton. Now, what I'm discussing with you, not something I have to depend on other people to do. It's something that I can do myself, so I'm not, gonna make, I'm not making any promises that are dependent upon the legislature, or the speaker, or anybody else. Things that I could do and things I've done. Um, Senator Bill Green, Senator Teresa Hughes, uh, Sonny Moon, Gwen Moore, uh, City Councilman uh, Richard Alatori, Senator Art Torres, who is now chairman of the Democratic Party, uh, Congressman, Julian Dixon, Congressman Vic Frazier, etc., etc., all came from my office. I had a rule that the only thing you could steal in the state without going to jail is some time. <laughs> so take some time and go to school. I was in Washington recently and there was a, uh, a staff party for me and in that group there were four black women, all of whom were lawyers, who came out of my office. And so I want to encourage young African students to take advantage of the political process. We are in, as foreign ethnics, we are too social. 
and especially my Caribbean uh, colleagues. If I say FET, everybody shows up. I say civic, nobody shows up. And so we have to work on that. We have to switch that enthusiasm for social and cultural events to political strength. This is something that has been a dream for us as Ethiopians and as people from Africa ever since we came here. And this is a recognition of not only that we are a member of this community, but that we are members and we are active and we are a viable population. And we are here to stay. And we will work. Yeah, woo! And we will work, you know, uh, with our allies, with our friends, because we all have common agenda when it comes to living in the United States as a person of color, as a person who is not part of the majority. We all have the same objectives. And there is unity and diversity and we will continue for that. And this street just symbolizes everything. And the fact that Councilman Nate pushed it through, saw it through, made it a reality. I would like to present this to the Councilman with our deep felt appreciation. visit with me at the City Hall for the next eight months. <laughs> <laughs> Term limits to take care of that. Uh, but the person who would perhaps keep it on the wall for me so I have some, something to look at when I return to City Hall. Uh, Mr. President, members, we are still honored once again to welcome to the City Council Chambers uh, representatives from the Ethiopian community advocacy group here uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, Mr. Garcetti uh, had breakfast. He started his whole day with the Ethiopian community and he's going to join me in this presentation. According to census data, uh, nearly half of the persons of Ethiopian uh, descent who lives in the city of Los Angeles live within the 10th Council District. Recently, we renamed a section of South Fairfax Avenue, Little Ethiopia. I'm excited about this and learn more about the Ethiopian culture. Uh, in recent years, uh, I was struck by the opening arms of policy that Israel displayed during the 1980s and 90s when it airlifted thousands of Ethiopian Jews to Israel and welcomed them with open arms. The Ethiopian people who have set up businesses along Fairfax Avenue are always anxious to return their warm welcome to anyone who visits the community. On a side note, I'd like to say that uh, I was in Israel in early 1990s and had an opportunity to visit, as I said earlier this week, the areas in which they were brought in and being orientated to their new environment and new life. I also had an opportunity to, while I was there, to visit the West Bank and went to the Art Post and it was really, really quite an exciting experience for me. And so, Mr. President and members, today I want to recognize the entrepreneurial spirit of the Ethiopian people of Los Angeles and applaud their efforts for promoting racial harmony and civic activism. Uh, I want to thank the members of the Ethiopian community and the Ethiopian American Advocacy Group as they stand and let's welcome them with a round of applause. Before I call on them to speak, I want to recognize my colleague uh, who spent a lot of time in Ethiopia, Ms. Eric Garcetti, who will all committee. In fact, you started out with breakfast this morning. That's right. Thank you very much, Mr. Holden. I, I didn't know this honoring was happening today, so it was purely coincidental that I started my, my morning with Kinche. Um, that I was able to uh, uh, join a, a good friend who I know many of you know in the community, um, Boga Gebre, who was honored here on, th on Tuesday. And in yesterday's Los Angeles Times, if you didn't see, there was an editorial uh, talking about her work in the Kambata region um, in, in, near Durame in Ethiopia. But uh, clearly I want to thank uh, Councilmember Holden for including me in this, for his 
designation of Little Ethiopia uh, and to the contributions of the entire Ethiopian community. Um, we have so many connections in the city with Ethiopia. Uh, Alashim Hammond, who is with uh, CRA, um, is Ethiopian herself. Dave Ely, who did much of our redistricting work from uh, the CLA's side, uh, actually grew up in Ethiopia. Um, and clearly this, this cradle of civilization um, is such an important uh, community to recognize here today. And uh, it was great to begin the day with some great Ethiopian coffee, which comes from the Kaffa region, which is where the word coffee comes from in Ethiopia. But that's just one of the many, many, many contributions that Ethiopia and Ethiopians have made throughout this world. So congratulations today. All right, we're going to recognize Mariam Ahadu for her comments. Did I get it right? Yes. Honored council members, Councilman Nate Holden, Councilman Garcetti, the Ethiopian immigrant community and the Ethiopian American business owners are honored to accept the certificate of, of appreciation bestowed upon us by Councilman Nate Holden's office. We have always appreciated and continue to appreciate the welcome we have received in the Los Angeles area. As immigrants who have left our own native country due to persecution, we are thankful that the city of Los Angeles has welcomed, welcomed us with open arms. Thank you, Councilman Nate Holden. Thank you, the people of Los Angeles. Since Fairfax has actually become a center for the Ethiopian community, I just want to stress again what Mr. Holden already mentioned, that for the longtime Jewish residents of the area, it's really important for, for the the Jews and the Ethiopians and the Ethiopian Jews and the Jewish Ethiopians to understand that this is a natural part of the outgrowth of, of being part of a single world. And as a Jew, I get a big kick out of the fact that we have this variety here in the city, and I think it's wonderful. So I, I just wanted to stress that again. Right. For the red, for the green, for the green, for the gold. For the poor, for the rich, for the young, for the old, for the man, for the woman, for the woman, for the child. From the tears of God that have fallen in the Nile, I don't want to see another child on his own. No shoes, no clothes, no food, no home. My husband is uh, Dr. Engada Asfa. Dr. Asfa is uh, a world-renowned surgeon. He started the open heart program at Sinai Grace in Detroit. I think that he is one of the greatest inspirations that the city of Detroit and the metro Detroit area could have. There are so many stories, I mean literally hundreds, about how many people he helped transition here, how many people he got medical treatment for. I mean, it's like folklore. You know, he does pro bono work uh, as far as the cardiovascular things are concerned. And he's also the president of the Ethiopian North American Health Professionals Association. And so he leads the charge to improve health care access and delivery in Ethiopia. 1958, I left Ethiopia on a cargo ship, which uh, took uh, two and a half weeks. <laughs> it wasn't the love boat, you know. <laughs> All along, I'd wanted to become a doctor. He is the classic personification of the American dream. The one thing that he told me was that he was always going to return home and give back to the citizens of his country. I remember in 1983, when I was giving birth to our third child, I saw images of the starving children in Ethiopia due to the famine. And at that point, we decided that we had to do something. We do face civil wars, um, poverty, of course. I believe the average life expectancy of Ethiopian is about 40 years of age. Well, there, there are a host of problems, cardiovascular disease, lung diseases, infections, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS. Approximately since the inception of the program, individuals that have uh, received direct uh, medical care will be estimated at about 5,000 to 6,000. Every time we go for a medical mission, we try to train the doctors and the nurses. That way they can be able to carry on in the future. This mission is different because so many people from all over the United States and Ethiopia work together to do something really new and historical. He actually did the, the very first uh, open heart surgery in Ethiopia. The portion of that mission was 